When you see them talk about Baba Debo ye or Ye Debo, either they did it or they did not do it, be in the business of minding your business. Especially the ministers of God. I said, leave them alone. Hello, my beautiful viewers. Welcome back to my channel, Agape TV, your favorite TV. It's a pleasure to um, have you here today, guys. So, in the edition of today's wonderful edition, we listening to the highly esteemed men of God, um, um, Reverend Dr. Chris and um, um, Joshua Igina, as they give advice and correct common mistakes that are being made in the body of Christ today. That's in the Christian, you know, I posted something similar to this yesterday. You know, we Christians are so used to attacking um, fathers of faith and we don't know there is a repercussion for every action that is taken. So I will leave you with this video to listen and hear what they have to say. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you're coming for the first time to my channel. Stay tuned guys. We will be right back. Prophetic advice for today. We pastors. Our judgment will be hotter than your judgment. When the scripture says that judgment will begin in the household of God, it will start with us. Whether you criticize us or you don't criticize us, God's eyes is already on us. Our judgment is a special judgment. That's why any pastor who is doing anything, God's eyes is on us. But there's one thing you must not forget. No matter how anointed you are, our king is not in your hands. The same God who anointed David to kill Goliath did not give David the anointing to kill Saul. Because Saul's judgment was not in the hands of David. Be very careful. Eli was an high priest. Ichabod has already taken place. The glory had departed. But Eli was still important to the ministry of Samuel. Samuel still served Eli. His eye was already dim. He couldn't see very well. The fire in the altar was already flicking, meaning going off. And then God spoke to Samuel. Samuel did not disdain Eli. He went back to Eli. If not for the experience of Eli, Samuel would have not distinguished the voice of God from the voice of his master. It was the experience of Eli that gave birth to the ministry of the prophet itself. Be careful. I want to advise you as your father and pastor. I am afraid of what is coming on the next generation. Do not join them to run down any father of faith if you don't understand them keep quiet and leave their judgment to god do not be among those who tear fathers down i said it i'm a yoruba man apart from being a christian anybody who is above you in age i grew up to understand you treat them with respect be very careful when you see them talk about baba debo ye or ye debo they talk about patriot of faith, Benin, TD Jakes. Every one of them that you see them talk about, whether it's me, whether it's any other prophet, any other pastor, whether they did it or they did not do it, please be in the business of minding your business. This is a race. Be careful. Don't partake in the cause that a generation to generation will partake in. Some people have paid their dues for these fathers who see. I'm not only brief for anybody. We might have made our mistake. We might have done our thing. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. 2019, I came out and confessed here. You abused me. I used it to drink Gary. I've continued my life. What I'm saying is, our king is not in your hands. The way God will judge us. It's different. You see me, I'm your father. God have anointed me. You will never see me disrespect anybody about me. I'm warning you. God told me specifically to warn. Because some of these fathers are crying in their clothes and bleeding. They are not saying anything. But a generation will soon be missing because of the pains of father. We are all in the hands of the mighty God. But if you are part of a process that takes a father from the stage before his time, your candlelight will go off. Don't criticize God's people, especially the ministers of God. I said, leave them alone. For the Bible says, whatever they do, they do unto the Lord. Are you hearing me? You are not the one to accuse another man's servant. 
to his master he stands or falls and he says yeah god is able to make him stand and i tell you i said don't join anybody to criticize other ministers don't do it don't do it i said the same thing to family members I said, don't criticize any minister leave them alone because there are curses against those who do then you find sickness never leaves your home there will always be some terrible thing about some members of your family no 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 don't join those who do they're ignorant they're ignorant you may say to me but not everybody who says is a minister says, leave that that is not your business leave them with God there's so much more for you to do than to find yourself going after the church of Jesus Christ if Satan pushes you and you do it you have yourself to blame all right my beautiful family there you have it with the man of God you know with with what they've said I really don't need to talk much on this matter you know like um i always believe and like the bible said that um whatever a man sows that he shall reap whether good or bad whatever you're sowing today just know that there is a harvest season for it and you will eat the fruit alone so i will all just to be mindful of what we say about people whether ministers or not life generally be mindful of what you say about people it's not everything you hear that you spread the news about these are um, men of god whether they are being called by god or not it's none of your business there are so many things that you use your time for instead of criticizing men of god because God says um, we shouldn't judge. He said, touch not my anointed. So it is not in your business to pass judgment. Allow God to do that. Just do what you know you have to do. Be a good Christian. And, and also um, have the spirit of discernment. So that you can know when something is wrong or right. And walk by it so that is it guys um i'll leave you to just pen down your thoughts in the comment section tell us what you think about these um, videos that were emerged together thank you for listening and please like i said earlier if you're coming to my channel for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share our videos thank you so much and see you in our next edition bye